We are so grateful to be joined this evening by the highest level of New York State leadership, whose strong and unwavering voice and legislative support makes an enormous difference for our Jewish community. It's my privilege to introduce a great leader, a great friend of the Jewish community, a tireless advocate for our needs, the governor of the state of New York, Kathy Hochul. Thank you so much, thank you. Good evening, everyone, and happy Hanukkah to one and all. What an incredible crowd this evening. I could not be prouder, as Eric said, to be the governor in a state that's the largest Jewish population outside of Israel, and I'm heading to Israel in a few months. I will be there. But what we're talking about here tonight is, yes, a celebration. Yes, we'll light that second candle. It's so important to keep those traditions alive. But in the climate that we're in, as we gather a time to talk about miracles and lights and shining the light into places that are dark, the darkest place right now is in the heart and soul of some individuals who perpetrate anti-Semitism and harm individuals who I represent with words, with physical actions, with assaults, with messages on social media. So any of that, I view as an attack on me and 20 million New Yorkers, and we stand together to reject anti-Semitism. We stop it right here in the state of New York. It'll send a powerful message around the world that there can be no hate in our state. We are one family. We are together in solidarity. And let us use this moment to send this message throughout this community and elsewhere that we are forever strong, united by this common bond. And I'm proud to be here and talk about everything we have done, and I'll continue to do more to make sure that people understand the story of the Jewish people, the struggles and the evil of Holocaust and what the Holocaust did to so many people and how we have to survive. The survivors have to be protected and cherished and loved because they still live among us. And they deserve to have the life that was stripped from them as children in their older years. So we are supporting our Holocaust survivors right here in New York with love and compassion and making sure that the stories of the Holocaust are actually taught in our schools. The law says it's supposed to be, but I'm saying, is it really? And we are checking up on this as well, as well as providing security to our vulnerable places our synagogues, our yeshivas, with all the support we can give. So that is the message of today. It is also, I want to present this proclamation to our leaders here and thank council members Eric Dinowitz and council member Gail Brewer for being here. I know we're going to be joined by our mayor and our attorney general, Tish James. Everyone is here as one voice to reject anti-Semitism and to wish all of you a magnificent Hanukkah season. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 